Hello and welcome back to the Idea Wealth Grower YouTube channel. My name is Axel Meyerhofer and I'm going to be your host for today's episode. And as I said last week, I wanted to get a little bit more into our strategy, which is called the out of state turnkey residential real estate strategy and talk a bit about all the aspects that come into play with that. So if you hadn't had a chance to uh, see the first episode in this kind of little mini series, so to speak, then I would encourage you to go there and take a look at that. So today, after we had looked at why is it out of state, why is it turnkey, why is it residential real estate, at least to some extent, I wanted to touch on something that I believe uh, is very important to realize and that is related to two terms and the two terms are expert and mastery. And why is this relevant in the context of our strategy and in the context of turnkey investing? So if you really think about it and if you, for example, like to go on, you know, HGTV and watch these kind of uh, shows about real estate and real estate investing and renovating houses and flipping places uh, from an ugly duckling into a nice new swan that you can then sell or rent or anything along those lines, or you may have heard, for example, on places like Bigger Pockets, something called the Burr strategy, which is you buy a property, then you renovate it, then you basically rent it out to tenants, and then you refinance it because you brought the value up from when you bought it to when you finished renovating it. And that difference you can then take out and use for your next investment. So there's all kinds of these strategies and how do they relate to the term expert and mastery? And what I want you to kind of become more aware of and, and realize is what these shows on TV and books and videos and all kinds of things are basically trying to make people believe. And I'm not a big fan of most of that, even though I like to watch it. But what I'm always critical about is the point about how do you actually do the work? And for the vast majority of people, unless you have decided that you want to do real estate as your full time job and especially you want to do things like renovation and bringing properties back to life and up to modern standards as your full time job, which is not the case for the vast majority of investors, then it means you would have to kind of do it on the side after work on weekends and stuff like that. Now, if you look at anything, if you even ask yourself at your own job, at your own profession, if somebody wanted to get really good becoming an expert or a master in what you do on a regular basis, how much effort would it take them to really learn that? And I know, for example, in, in my case, for a lot of the things that I do and have done in my life as far as where I would say I've really become an expert in that, I know it would take people probably years to catch up to that level. Now, take that and apply it to real estate and the aspect of renovating properties and getting them ready for sale. If you're not already an experienced contractor, if you're not good in electrical, plumbing, connecting gas, installing stuff, ripping walls away, replacing roofs, painting, drywalling, flooring, all those kind of different trades, then how are you actually going to get a property to a really expert level? And you want that as an investor because when the property is in a really good state and has really good value, number one, you can ask really good rent. And if you need to refinance it or want to refinance it, you can ask or expect that you get a really good price or a really good appraisal. So the quality of the property after it's been renovated needs to be and you want it to be really good. Now take a look at the turnkey investor. They open their company in a certain area, somewhere in the country. They become typically really, really well versed and very knowledgeable about that area. In many cases, from what I have found, the turnkey providers were previously either contractors or real estate agents. So they know the area really well. They know the neighborhoods really well. They know where to say, okay, this is an A, a B, a C, a D class neighborhood. They also know in which neighborhoods is it likely for them to find properties that when you buy and renovate them, 
that they come up to a value that an investor like us, you and me, would actually be interested to buy and that the property would actually reasonably be able to appraise at that sales price. Because as I keep always saying in all my videos and anything that I'm writing in all the podcasts that I'm on, don't buy a property that doesn't appraise. Right, so the good turnkey provider would actually be looking for only basically asking a price that actually meets or is slightly below the appraisal. But you still want the high quality of the renovation. So they know their area really well. Now you might say, okay, I know my area where I live very well too. But that's not the only thing. They have expert teams that renovate properties and have all these different trades like plumbing, electrical, flooring, painting and so forth in their team. And why do they have a team like that that is dedicated to these renovations and later might actually also help out with any kind of maintenance jobs? It's because of the volume. While you might say, okay, I watched HGTV and I got familiar with it and I helped with a few flips and now I want to do it myself. How many realistically would you do? Maybe one, maybe two per year? A good size turnkey provider, the ones that I work with and that I'd be happy to introduce you to, they do a dozen a month, a dozen houses a month at any given time in different states of renovation. You think that they have mastered on how to renovate a property and get it to a really nice level, really well done, but at a price that is properly appraising so that they have a good chance to sell it to investors like us. So they have mastered that and we are novices. And that's also the difference and why I always think it's really hard to reach that level of mastery when you don't even have the opportunity to do it full time all the time when it comes to renovation. And the reason that we have plumbers and electricians and flooring experts and painting experts is because each one of those different areas requires mastery. So for you to think that you could do this all by yourself and reach that level of mastery would in all logic mean you would have to have a couple of houses that didn't come out so well. Now the question you have to ask yourself, do you have the money and the time to try out that way? Or wouldn't you be better off, like I suggest, and go with the people who do this in their sleep every day, a dozen a month anyway, which are the turnkey providers? So in the last video, I mentioned the aspect of performance and that naturally applies. Not every turnkey provider is the same. And I'm making a huge point about the fact that you only want to work with turnkey providers who do the renovation. And after they actually sold the property to you, they also do the maintenance, the property management, because that creates a connection, a relationship to each other, where you would obviously have to say, why would somebody make a mediocre renovation when they know that they later on have to fix the stuff that might break? And in my case, and in any case for anybody who works with us, I always say, you want to make sure, and my turnkey providers accept that easily, that in your contract when you're closing, you have a clause that says, from the day of closing for one year, anything that breaks in the property that was part of the renovation, the turnkey provider has to pay for. So they have a great incentive during the renovation to do a good job and really apply their mastery and their expertise and all these different trades so they don't have to touch the property. And one thing is for sure, as soon as you get a tenant in the property and they start using all the different systems, Anything that hasn't been renovated well or hasn't been connected properly or hasn't been tightened down and, and all these kind of things, it will show those things and it will break or will require maintenance and will require fixing within that first year. Because typically a tenant is going to use all the different kinds of systems in a house that have been renovated and you will know if they work or not. So after that first year, if there were anything, which typically isn't the case, I can tell you for my 10 properties, pretty much nothing that I can really point to has ever broken that was part of the renovation. But even if it were, then you know you don't have to pay for it. It would be covered by the turnkey provider and you don't need to fight with anybody. Like if your property management is not the same company like your turnkey provider or your renovation organization, then you have to fight to find out who is actually going to cover the cost. You know, that's the other reason why I'm saying the renovation and sale and the management should all come out of the same hands and out of the same company. So if you go back to expertise and mastery, 
you can acquire expertise and mastery over time. And the way we typically do it is you can think of it like an apprenticeship. You go through the apprenticeship to learn how to do something well. The only problem with that is that your apprenticeship is probably with a property that is anywhere between 50,000, 80,000, 100,000, 120,000, and you have to properly estimate how much the renovation costs. And then there's one last point that I would like to point out that I would really encourage you to look at when you look at these videos or TV shows and stuff like that. And that is ask yourself, for yourself, for your own situation, how much is the value of an hour of your time? Is it $20, $30, $50, $70? Whatever that number is that you think is fair for the value of your time. And then think about how much time would it take for you to actually renovate a property, even if you do it with a couple of other people. But these other people you have to pay anyway, and they have already valued their time. What is almost always missing in all these shows and all these reports and all these kind of advertisements and so forth is that the people who are actually the flippers or the renovators or so forth, who do it like on their own, or they're doing it together with a team of contractors, you barely ever see them value their time. Now let's just, just say it takes you six months to renovate a property. And since you can't do it full time, six months normally would be a thousand hours. But let's just say you scrape out 50% of the time that you normally would have in a, in a full time job. So you work every weekend, you go after work for a couple of hours every day. So you would have 500 hours of time in it in six months. And let's just say you give yourself 50 bucks an hour which I think is fair, because if it's much less than that, then, you know, the question is really, why do it in the first place? So you give yourself 50 bucks an hour for 500 hours, that's $25,000 in value. And if you really want to do a fair comparison, for example, with some house that somebody offers you, or with an opportunity with a turnkey provider like I recommend, then ask yourself, has the time that the people who did the renovation put in really been accounted for? or not. And if you consider doing it yourself, you would have to ask yourself, so am I an expert? How much is my expertise? How much do I master all these required trades? And how much time do I need to put in? And if you take this example, 500 hours, 50 bucks an hour, am I actually willing to admit, uh, add these $25,000 into the overall effort? Because when you do that and you look at these comparative calculations, you will quickly find that in the most cases, you compare the price that a turnkey provider would ask you to pay for the house. And you compare, you buy one that you find for $30,000, $40,000 and you put $50,000 of renovation in. And then you add your own time into it. The asking price that you would have to ask to just break even and that the turnkey provider is asking is probably very, very similar. And this brings us back to the beginning of this video. And that is while you are more of a novice, and you have to do quite a few, these turnkey providers do a dozen a month. They have the expertise, they have the mastery, they have the system figured out and they know the right neighborhoods. That's why I'm such a big fan of turnkey providers that do renovation, the sale and the property management maintenance and finding you the tenant all under one roof. And I hope that makes sense that when you think about how much do you or would you have to learn to really save yourself from paying somebody else to do the renovation, let alone spending the time, you will quickly find out that it's really not that great a deal, that you're not really saving that much money and that you have a huge gap in your expertise and mastery versus what they already know and what they already do in their sleep. So think about that and maybe that gives you another argument to say you should consider turnkey providers as long as you really make sure that they cover all three corners the finding and renovating property, the selling the property to you, and then also the maintenance and property management of the property. So I hope this was informative to you. If you're not already a subscriber, I would like to ask you to subscribe, ring the little bell so that you get notified when we have more videos. We typically try to get a video out on Wednesdays and Fridays. 
and, and stay in that rhythm so you can get educated more and more about real estate investing in our out-of-state turnkey residential real estate strategy. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it so much, please give a comment. Tell us what you would want us to do differently so we can improve this video. The most important thing I like to ask you where you can help yourself and help us is by share this video with your network because there are probably other people who consider, hey, would turnkey investing be something, especially when you live in an expensive area and you try to actually develop cash flow and get to a point where you no longer have to exchange time for money and can really enjoy your life and have the freedom to do with your time, which is our most valuable uh, commodity, what you want to do and not what an employer wants you to do. So please share the video with your network and invite other people to benefit from the information that we provide. Be well, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.